Welcome, Sportsnet 590, the Fan NHL Network. I'm solo. I, my boys have bailed on me. This is uh, Darren Millard is in is making his way here in traffic as we speak, and um, we just realized that Nick Kiprios is in Edmonton on assignment, and he's going to join us on the phone right away. Um, I don't think we really needed him, but you know, I was I I was sort of getting excited about hosting myself and. Uh, I can't recall when I really wanted to see Darren Millard ever this much in all my life. Welcome to the show, Nick. I guess we don't have Nick. I'm just teasing you. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been so excited to hear from you or to see Darren in all my life. That was the worst opening <laughs> to any show, radio, or TV in history. Well, now you, I have a total new appreciation for the host, you know? How lonely do you feel right now? <laughs> I'm sweating. <laughs> <laughs> my, eyebrow, my forehead is wet. Where's Patrick Kane when I need him? <laughs> now, fill me in on what happened uh, with Patrick Kane when he came to our studio. I missed that whole thing. You know, I was away for the weekend, and I missed it. You were at the beach, of course. Yes, like I was. At- every weekend. Yes. While we sweat during the weekend, yes, yes, you sweat at the beach. And how was Patrick? I hear he was very disappointed I wasn't here. He was. It, I don't. I don't get it. I don't understand it. But it, it's true, Mac. He he was a little uh, disappointed you weren't there. Yeah, uh, I understand. We had set up, we had set up a, a one-on-one that ran on Hockey Night in Canada, uh, and at the last second, I said, uh, "Why don't you go in and?" Uh, crash the uh, hockey central at noon show and he said love it and i said well you remember the 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 roof caved in why don't you go in there and try to fix it so deb berman who is the greatest costume and, Great. Clo- and clothing designer, lady. clothing right? lady yeah yeah you referred her as the clothing lady <laughs> we of course wardrobe and costume designer she put up this uh she found all this stuff within like one minute and he was awesome. Before he could even finish the question, he grabbed the helmet and the vest, grabbed the ladder, and, and went into the room. So I think I think uh, the boys got a kick out of it, that's for sure. Yeah, well, it, it's, it certainly sounded like it. And I, I did see the interview. I thought you were very, um, you were very uh, 60 minutes like on it. And Jill kept asking me why you kept having your hand up at your face while you were asking him questions. I said, yeah, well, it's just it's I, a new thing for Nick to do these one-on-ones. I don't know. I I, I think uh, I was I was maybe scared. The other team were was reading my lips, and they they know the next you play did. I was going to call. You looked like Babcock with the card up to your face. That's exactly <laughs> what you looked like. You know, I I haven't got a clue why my hand was there. Maybe <laughs> maybe I need to do more interviews so I can move my hand away from my mouth. Exactly. But well, he was he was great. Yeah, he was. Um, he's. You know, Mac, he's come a long way for sure. As a player, uh, on and off the ice, he's never been more comfortable. He's, he's a guy that likes to have fun. So I think I think the league's lucky to have a guy like that. Yeah, there's no doubt. What about, uh, let's move on now. As you know, uh, Mitch Kersner just walked in, and he'd really like us to talk Leafs. No, um, put him on. Put him on. Well, no, he's... You want, you want to see a guy sweat? <laughs> put Mitch on. No, he's uh, he's sweating because I'm on. Um, so big win. I mean, Boston come in here playing actually pretty well, and uh, and the Leafs uh, coming off a a good stretch. Obviously, a stinker in Florida, but besides that, a pretty good stretch. And uh, that was a that was a tough, hard earned win. And again, again, you leave the game saying, "Wow, how many plays can this Marner kid make?" You know what? Uh, I think there was a question mark maybe about a week, week and a half ago, whether the, even the defense is going to hold up and, and, and give the offense a chance to, to really make the playoffs. And I think last night when you watch Anderson again making, what, 30 saves, 32 saves, uh, Doug, uh, there is that possibility now that we're looking at as many as five teams in the NHL playoffs. Um, last night was huge for the Leafs, huge for uh, the belief that they can find a way to go from last place to a, to a playoff position. 
So we know Boston's been great. We know Marchand's been one of the best players in the league. That was a heck of an accomplishment last night. I, I think what's exciting, too, is to see Morgan Riley. I mean, you know, he was he – was, you know, obviously after the Florida game, a little bit down and, and, and out and, you know, after that performance. But has he bounced back with a couple of strong performances? Now, Marner makes the play, but Riley has to be good to be there to jump into that hole and to make the play. So good to see Morgan Riley taking a step as well. Wow. And listen, I, there's some nights that it does feel probably like the weight of the world is on his shoulders. Um, you forget, again, that he's still young young enough that in a perfect world you would have loved uh, another veteran on the team that he could lean on uh with five six hundred career games it's just it's not there you know and and i'm talking about a a true number one or number two he could lean on that's just that's the way of the world right now so there's some nights he's it's not going to be there but uh i think last night to your point um he stepped up and and that was a critical goal and how did marner even see him can you even explain to me how marner oh just a minute you're listening to uh, sportsnet uh, 590 the fan and the nhl network and darren millard has just joined the panel welcome that was the, I, I wasn't I wasn't even in traffic. I was just down the hall, and yeah. that was, and you were that, stalling. And, and and honestly, that was beautiful. What nothing. Are you doing to me? No, 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 Kipper. Nothing has done in in the. Well, I worked with you nineteen years. I don't know how many with you ten. Yeah. Nothing has done more for my street cred with you two. <laughs> Than, than what I just pulled. So I'm okay. here at 11.58, and I say, is Nick? And you're the first one. Where's Nick? Yeah. No, no, I was here at 11.30 doing my prep, and I'm saying, where's Nick? Oh, you know, he's, he's just coming in. At least I phoned. <laughs> least I'm in, I, he's I in told, Edmonton. Okay, I told, I told Matt last week, I'm going, to, I'm going to Edmonton. I'm going to see the new building. I'm going to go watch Connor play against the L.A. Kings. I'm, it's still, I don't even know what time it is. It's like 10 o'clock here. I'm, I'm just getting out of bed, and I get a call from Max saying, you got to help me. I'm alone. <laughs> I'm like, anyway, you did a nice job, so goodbye. And, 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 and honestly, and, and this, this is the really sad part. I, like, my stature in Doug's mind has gone up. Yes, I was only, really excited o- to see you. Only because I can open a show. And I'm not, not to do with any other broadcast and, ability and or, or, or hockey knowledge, only because I can open a show. And I'm soaked. Yeah. And I'm sweating. Good for you. No, so, well, you know what? Did you not like Sportsnet so, 590, The Fan, and NHL Network? So, so, so when I'm doing my opening and you're waving your hands around and you're talking to Elliot <laughs> and you're doing... <laughs> now, you find, now you understand why I'm saying... It's a very challenging zip job. It. It's a very challenging job. Zip it. Uh, so, Kippy, what are, you, what are you actually doing? Did you cover that? What are you doing there? Because I... Uh, uh, well, like other than because the building's been open for a few months, it has. But my boys are on March break. They asked, I asked them, like, you want to, we want to do something for March break. Yeah. Most of it would say, let's go somewhere warm. They're like, let's go see the new building nice. in Edmonton. How great is that? So you and did, Connor McDavid. So you did, you did the general manager meetings. You did an extended March break. Yes. And now you're on March break times two. Well, yeah, we're. I'll be at work tomorrow. I'll be with you guys tomorrow. Kip, uh, Nick. But, you know, just a quick little getaway to the new building. And let me tell you, boys, it is spectacular. Nick, Nick, Nick. At least I took my March break in January, and I took it all at once. And I haven't taken mine yet, but uh, it's coming <laughs> after this coming. opening. Uh, enjoy tonight. Say hi to Connor for us, okay? Hey, yes. Hey, listen, I bet you, Darren, by, <laughs> by the first commercial break, Rogers is offering you a lifetime contract now. <laughs> you, know, you know what the best part is? Even... As the host, he may have talked less than, than when he's the when he's the panelist, just interrupting everybody. That, that's the weird part. I thought I was pretty good. Didn't you, Nick? Can you say goodbye oh, to yeah. Nick? Yeah. Thanks for joining us, Nick. Try to get one of those Hockey Night in Canada towels to dry off. <laughs> Can you not say it normally? What? Thanks for joining us, Nick. Well, I'm trying to be host-like. <laughs> Very professional. Uh, 